I can't believe it's already like winter almost if you like I mean it's still October but it's almost November so with that said I want to recap quickly my top five for the month uh, for my blog badtothebond.com so I'm gonna get ready because one of my faves to make the throwing shit already one of the things to make the list was this um, I saw it in a TikTok video from I don't remember who I'll have to drop that in can't remember her name but she is fucking hilarious so we're gonna do just a really quick get ready with me so I can try out that lip glaze. And then we'll kind of go through a few of the other things that I purchased this month. And FYI, there are four dogs in my house. So I'm sure at some point, like usual, if you watch my channel often, the dogs are loved. Go to foundation it is a cosmetics always. I will never use anything else besides Mac, cause Mac rocks, so. Oh shit, actually, fuck. Um, because I already squirted this on, we'll get back to this after I do my face. So quick, just little foundation. This is kind of just normally how I get ready. I have been up since 5 a.m. So I'm a little tired, but I wanted to get this in. And yes, I do my makeup in the middle of my living room because I live alone and I can do what I want. Bathrooms just don't have enough room in apartments. Like where do I even put any of my stuff? So I basically transformed the desk into a makeup station. I've been going crazy on my melasma recently. Um, it's just been so bad. But it's getting better. I've been outside a lot trying to get my vitamin D. And after all the podcasts I've listened to, I've not been wearing sunscreen. Not good. Okay. I also just turned 36. Hopefully I look really young. With that said, I bought like 50 fucking eye creams last, last month. This month. What month is it? Oh my god, it's only October. It's basically almost November, so I'm just gonna pretend. I was working on my blog today of my top five, and I'm like, you know, every month I try to, I have a list of shit to do and I never get it done. And one of the things on my to-do list is to share my top five via video. So, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna be real quick, okay. I just wanna try this out in like real life. Okay. Oh, I was not expecting it to be this big. Okay, noted. So this came this comes in a few different colors on Sephora. They only had they had like the kit and then they had um I think like a pink version and a red version for some reason. I just wanted that like really like a juicy plump lip look. I should have probably looked at some makeup inspiration before I did this. Um, red lips. I'm just gonna do like a, I've had this palette forever thanks to my sister and I never use it. Um, but I'm just gonna do like this kind of like beigey shade just to get something on my lids quick. This is like the fastest, get ready with me. I should ask my friend Laura, glam in a gown, glam in a tea, she's numerous businesses, um, when one should throw away her makeup palettes. I feel like all these palettes I've had for way too freaking long. Boom, boom, boom. I've been really trying to cut back on my crazy makeup look to try to use up some of these palettes that I have that I clearly never use. Like this one's like brand new. All right, so I'm just gonna put this kind of like taupe I don't want to do like white. Actually, I'm going to do white on top of this now. Just kind of like in my crease to brighten me up because I feel like I don't sleep. Oh, wait, I do. All right. So. Um, last month, backtrack a little bit here. I'm obsessed with these Glow Play blushes from MAC. This video does not do it justice. 
nor does like the colors. This looks so crazy, but they blend so good. I'm going to go on a whim here and I'm going to demonstrate this one because this was in my top five from September from last month. Um, the texture of this is crazy. It's like pillowy and soft, but I want to show you how pretty this is. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. I'm going to go real ham on this for the sake of this video. It's freaking beautiful. So Rihanna, bless her soul, all over. Who doesn't? Um, she had this purple blush that went like viral on TikTok. I'm going real ham on this right now, by the way. For some reason, when I find a blush I like, I literally go crazy. I just think it like, this is also super pigmented. So I'm gonna just blend this like crazy out. I obviously put way too much on. Okay, I have like a 200 pound bull massive in my house right now. I have two of my neighbor's dogs, my two. Reese is back in his cone. He has hot spots really bad. Um, dries shit here, okay. Sash, Sashy girl, fat fat. Hi big girl. <laughs> so they call her fat fat. If you're offended by that in any way, find a different channel. But yeah, just a pretty girl, huh Sash? Okay, so who would have thought that like purple blush would look like this, but it's pretty. Okay, so obviously I'm getting hit really hard from the sun on this side versus this side, my sweetie. So I'm just gonna kind of go back in and just take this down a little bit. Taking this down for the sake of this video. Okay. My mascara is almost gone too, by the way. So um, lately I've been using a little bit of this um, glossier stick that I love. This is one of my favorites too. I need to get some more. Super old. And then I'm just patting this. I feel like purple blush is something that you can really take into winter to give you like that like cold cheek look. So that's basically what we're doing. All right. I feel like I do not look 36. I just want to say that to you to make myself feel better. All right, where am I at here? Um, I've been getting my eyebrows um, tinted, but I feel like it's already fading and I have them go real dark. So I'm just gonna use this really old, it doesn't even have a label, Benefit brow stuff just to kind of darken them. I do love things like this because you can see how I'm literally just throwing my face together and it's super easy and quick. I really like to get ready really fast. Probably we're gonna hear her to add her bone. Oh, she got another bone. All right, so someday I will get my eyebrows not done, but I don't know, something. I always have a spoolie. Okay, so we're gonna let that kind of just to darken them up a little bit. <clears throat> I do want to put a little bit of, um, I've been kind of back in my eyeliner mode. And with that said, I just like to use shadow. So just a little bit, kinda, because I haven't been doing like crazy makeup, like crazy shadows. I go back to just like a, like a classic, classic look here. I feel like shadow is so much easier to apply than like a stick. And I just feel like every time I go to Sephora, I'm spending so much money when I'm like, I have a million black shadows and all of these palettes. Why am I buying another eyeliner? All right. I feel like this is kind of like a soft Victoria's Secret-y type look. Um, I'm gonna have to try this without lip liner. I do not have my lips done. But I do want to say I love my lips. I love natural lips. 
Again, if you're going to be offended by this comment, which you probably will be, I hate lip injections. Um, I think men hate lip injections. I talk to a lot of men. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of friends that are men and I just try to ask like, do you like lip injections? And they don't. So anyway, I have a real small top lip, but guess what? I embrace it because I'm not supposed to have a big one. Um, but I think that's what why makeup comes into play. So we can create different looks, you know? Like maybe I wanna have a small top lip today. Maybe I wanna have juicy lips today or dry lips today. Get my feels, throw out the vibes. Uh, uh, God, I fucking say such a thing. So I just have not been in the lip injection mode vibe thing trend. Because I think it's just gotten really carried away. And I just, I really wonder if your lips are this big, like what happens when you age? Aging gracefully has been a very important part of my life. So the fact that I am goddamn almost 40 and I look like this, I think I'm doing okay. So do I do Botox? Hell yes. Do I do it very often? No, because I can't afford it. Um, I would do it every month if I could. Um, I hold a lot of tension in my face. I'm very um, vocal in my in my facial expressions, if that's the right word. So, and I'm skinny, so I feel well. When you're skinny, you just show a lot of wrinkles everywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm all about the Botox. I just feel like there's a fine line between everything. You can get too much and look like plastic. So I don't think plastic is a good look. I think um, being able to have some movement in your face and and being able to smile naturally and, I don't know, frown, cry, naturally is good. I don't think you can see her. All right. If it's not my dog, it's someone else's. Okay. So this was, <laughs> okay better right drum roll please -da 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 -da. the number one lip oil glaze is this we're gonna try it it's plant-based cruelty free this is called the candy apple Tastes good. All right. The big brush is nice. It is really big. Did it need to be this big? I don't know. Is bigger better? All right. I like it. It tastes really good. Not sticky. Fun fact, I actually hate, hate lip gloss. I like this. Okay, so it's a plumper, but it doesn't tingle like, um, all my shit's in my purse. The Lip Injection Too Faced is my fave. I have not tried the colored versions of this, and I feel like the tingling on that almost makes my lips dry out. So I'm gonna give this a test. I do like this. It tastes good, and I'm not a fan of things that taste because it freaks me out that there's like chemicals in it and stuff. Okay. Um, I think they're juicy and pretty. I do like it. Cool. 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay, so let's start with number one. <laughs> so one of my favorite things that I got this month are scrunch, scrunch socks in every color. I'm wearing the gray. Got them in white. Got them in black, because when you like something, get it in every color. Who knew shopping for scrunch socks, socks would be so hard. Uh, these have cable knit. They're really nice from Aloe. I love them already. They're really comfortable. They're actually not too thick down here. They are a little thicker up here, surprisingly, than down here. I kind of wish this part was down here too. So I'm gonna give these like probably like an eight out of 10. However, I wanted scrunch socks that weren't cheap. And Amazon was very overwhelming, so I'm really excited to try these from Aloe. I have not washed them yet because they're brand new, but so far, um, I do really like them. They are really tall, but they scrunch down. 
perfectly. So I wore the gray ones. I don't know why today. Um, so that was favorite number one, socks. Gonna leave a link in the description below. Uh, this lip stuff was number two. I put it on my list before I even thought I'd like it. Usually I always try everything first, but I do like this lip, um, this lip glaze. And I just wanted to find like a new lip thing. Feeling that. Okay, moving on to anti-aging. This I've been using. Uh, this is the Herbivore Moon Dew. It is a peptide baca chili chio chilio whatever retinol alternative eye cream um i am aging really quickly in my under eye area i also touch my fucking eyes a lot i don't know why i just always do and not just usually not when i put my makeup on just all day long i'm touching my freaking eyeballs um i do not know why it's like a habit i always feel like i have like little like stringies in it so i'm touching my eyes constantly which is part of the reason why i'm pulling on my under eye skin this stuff is great i will be buying this again I just love the color. It's a uh, very pretty, very pretty color. I love everything from herbivore. Everything is cruelty free and plant based. I've been using this for I think a week or two right now, and yes, I have visibly noticed differences. I will be getting this again. Highly recommend. Good stuff. And. Ooh, Make sure my boobs are in. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> a bralette. I had this last month in black on my favorites list. It is an amazing bralette. Super, super comfy. It is from Skims. This is a small. Shove my girls in it. Um, I love it. It's super comfy. I have not worn a regular bra since I've got this. And I also have it in black. So black last month made the favorites list. I had to get it again. It's the best bra ever. I've done a review on Skims before and I was not impressed. And then I was like, I just want a freaking bralette. Just a bralette. I want a bralette. It's all I want. And then I was like, I'm going to try Skims again. And I did. And I'm obsessed with this. I wear it all the fucking time. So great. It actually um, is really supportive. I probably need a small because it's a little small or I need a medium because this is a small it's a little small so 10 out of 10 recommend the skims bralette get it in every color when you like it get it in every color okay how I stay sane candles fall candles this is the autumn hayride candle from homesick it smells amazing doesn't it it smells like hay kind of but like I grew up in the country so it doesn't smell like a farm in any way it smells really good these are natural soy wax blend candles made in the USA not full of chemicals or other things uh, the cotton wick make sure it burns clean in your home I think this was 38 bucks cheaper than me going out on a hayride and spending probably a hundred dollars after cocktails pumpkins and an outfit probably 200 so candles are a cheap affordable way to stay in and enjoy fall that is all I have for my five favorites video I will leave the links for everything in the description below I am obsessed just with all these fun things <laughs> um yeah thanks for hanging I will try to do more of these and yeah